Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody here this morning on behalf of the Waterford Council of Trade Unions, uh, sponsors of uh, Booze, Bars and Banter in conjunction with the Imagine Festival. And of course, uh, with the absolute support of Andy and Cathy, uh, without whose support, in fact, this event wouldn't be the same. Um, we have a very packed programme here this morning and our uh, MC will be going through that. But uh, over the years we've focused on things maritime and the river, but we've also included uh, a bit of social history and uh, uh, issues in relation to uh, struggle of working people, particularly uh, through the trade union movement and what have you. And uh, you know we've covered such things as the 1913 lockout, uh, the war for Soviet, etc., etc. And uh, I think it's important uh, that we just mention that we're not just interested in say past history, that uh, we're also very much concerned with pre present and modern day history. And uh, at the moment we have a very important uh, and defining dispute that's going on in relation to the teachers. Uh, who effectively are um, uh, in dispute or uh, at the issue of equal pay, essentially. People are being discriminated on the basis of uh, the fact that they didn't start uh, work on a particular year. And uh, this is just something that uh, has always been anathema to the trade union movement in relation to uh, work of equal value for equal pay. Unfortunately, over the, over the eight years of the austerity program, uh, we've seen that instituted, not just within uh, 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 the uh, young teachers, uh, with nurses, we've also seen it with people who are dependent on social protection. Those under 25 years of age have been discriminated against uh, in terms of <coughs> payments, despite whatever their circumstances are, all in an effort to force them out into low paid employment. Uh, in addition to that, we've had all these uh, uh, work activation schemes where we have TUS and Jobs Bridge and what have you, where effectively provided free, free labour to employers because the state gave people an addition of 20 euro or 50 euro in, on top of their social welfare. So these are the these are legacy issues from the um, from the uh, uh, period of austerity that we're ever going through, and this is a very important dispute. And we offer our solidarity to, to the teachers there, and we'll be working with the trade unions. We do what they can to support that strike. And um, we we just with the year that was in it, we thought it would be important that we'd uh, look at. Um, uh, look back on the history uh, of, of 1916 and each touch on it and we have a speaker from uh, Paul O'Brien who will be coming from Dublin to uh, speak on the Irish Citizens, Citizens Army and give us uh, a, an aspect of that maybe that we're not all familiar with. In addition to that we have a speaker from Belfast uh, who's coming down, uh, who will be here this morning and he, he'll speak in relation to uh, the impact of the 1916 rising in Belfast and in the north in a divided society. Obviously uh, it has a different resonance up there and how it's commemorated etc. So Sean Breyers will uh, give, us a, give us a talk on that. Um, other than that I just want to say to everybody uh, well done for turning up. I hope everybody enjoyed themselves this morning and I'm going to hand you over now to our ever capable MC Keown. Thank you very much. Thanks Tom. Big hands. Big for Tom Hogan.